Do you know, madam, let me tell you. When I was in The Hague a few years ago, making very <laughs> difficult submissions, applying for an international extradition warrant, I knew at one point, halfway through my submissions, which were made in fluent French, I would be in court one day judging a case about a goat. <laughs> and some goat. And Kelly. Come on, Julie. Hello, darling. There's a good girl. No. <laughs> Angelica, you are alleged, Angelica, you are alleged to have destroyed a phone. Now, do you have this phone with you? I do. Now, the animals were penned. You had a bag, correct? And where yes. was the bag, madam? It was hanging on the portable fencing. Right. Why did you put the bag on the portable fencing? Um, the portable fencing is holding the animals. Uh, yes, this was just to hang it up um, to be safe because if I left it outside, it would get stolen. Understood. So that's a portable fencing. That's what I'm going to call the fencing that's penning in the animals. Yes. Only you know that Angelica can be rather mischievous, correct? Oh, yes. So why would you leave the bag in a place where Angelica could get at it? Well, normally she wouldn't touch it. Hang on it. a second. I think Angelica's got a bit of a thing for Peter. <laughs> yeah. Normally she wouldn't touch. She really does. I'm going to change your name to Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> do you carry on? She normally wouldn't touch it. Right. I tell her not to touch it and she does. What do you mean you tell her not to touch it? I She's a goat, madam. <laughs> I just say, Joe, Jelly, leave the bag alone. <laughs> Let's just see the bag. Let's just see the bag for a second. Put the bag in front of Jelly and say, don't touch the bag. Jelly, don't touch the bag. Understand? <laughs> Didn't go very well. <laughs> what happened? You left the bag on the fence and consequently she went through various things, including your mobile phone. Yes. And she took the mobile phone and what happened? Well, she dropped it, but it just happened that her bucket of drinking water was there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. She dropped oh. it into the bucket. <laughs> That's jelly being jelly. <laughs> you are amazing. What have you done? Okay. Jelly's now. just um, had a moment. Um, I think she might be commenting on your case, madam. She's just think... urinated on my carpet. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's jelly being jelly. <laughs> Auntie Jenny, and that's what she thinks of you. be the main thing. Peter, would you mind? I think she's made all the comments she needs to make. <laughs> Your mobile phone was damaged, madam. It doesn't work anymore. Yes, I got that part! <laughs> How much was the mobile phone? Uh, I can't remember how much that one cost because it's quite old. Well, you're bringing a court case, so how yeah, much was well, the I new one? I had to buy a new phone for £100. Was that... <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Was the mobile phone hanging on a bag which was in easy reach of Jelly, who suddenly has a, a rather extreme attitude when it comes to being treated in a way which she doesn't approve of? I've just seen it. She conducted a dirty protest in my court. <laughs> Angelica probably would have got the phone out because she likes taking selfies. And... What are you... <laughs> When she realised that Auntie's Gillian's phone... Madam, I just want to be clear. You believe that your goat enjoys taking selfies of herself? Yes, she does. <laughs> she does 
need a hand sometimes with the camera because her hoof doesn't quite fit the button sometimes, but... <laughs> the hoof doesn't fit the button? Exactly so. It's like one of those metaphors, like the lift not going up to the top. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.